Brock may have totally pwned all of us in the Christmas challenge, but I've still got one holiday surprise. There's a minivan in front of us with a menorah on it. It's a freaking menorah car. It's crazy hair day. I just realized that like the last three video things I've done on YouTube, I've been wearing this shirt. It's true. It's the only item of clothing I own and the only thing I'll ever wear. Actually, true story, I picked up this sweatshirt the weekend that I covered a really tragic accident where a kid fell off a boat and got destroyed. And it's because we didn't know that we were staying the night, so I needed clothes, so I bought a sweatshirt. So I always feel kind of weird wearing it. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know, wearing something I wore to a funeral. I won an award for this story, though. It was just my birthday. I'm 29. One more year until death. Or age 30, whichever comes first. Look, I'm a Muppet. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Surprise! I haven't finished the book of the week again! Ah! Christmas and my birthday tends to be a pretty full week. So I've had like three hours to myself. Two and a half of those were reading. But here's the book so far. It's a, it's a love story, this book. But it seems to be heading towards something tragic and I'm terrified of it. it raises all kinds of questions about the about the about the timeline of life and the timeline of the world and what happens when you have the perspective to see the way patterns happen and the way the way that life reveals itself. I'll have more thoughts on it next week. It was my birthday and um I had a fabulous one and I'm gonna show you what happened when Sam came over to celebrate right now. Wildcats for the win. Ah! It's my birthday, and Sam decided to make my birthday five times awesome by doing this. Oh, five, get it? Five awesome. Oh, no. Nah. That was for you, Christina. Um, check it out. You know who wishes me a happy birthday? You know who? Gabrielle and Troy. I can't even say it. What is she saying? <laughs> and I have balloons. Princess balloons. <laughs> Frack wants me to go down the list of houses and explain, as I understand it, if, um, he wants me to say why, if I was in one of the other houses, would I be in the other houses? Right? Kind of? Okay, let's try this. Gryffindor? Because I've driven in New York City. Ravenclaw? Because I can steer Pottercast back on track from one of John Noe's jokes. Usually. Hufflepuff? Hufflepuff is obvious. I work myself silly. We all know this. Well, Slytherin, I mean, frankly, I'm ambitious, but I think in a good way. I think ambition can be really good if done responsibly. I don't know about any means, but means that don't violate other things I'm happy to use. And now for my best ever news of the week, especially for you YouTube people. A long time ago, I started a podcast called Fitting It In, and a lot of you who were podcast listeners knew about it and learned about it and got excited about it and were with me. In that podcast, I talked to a personal trainer about how to achieve a healthy lifestyle, because though I use these angles on my eyesight, you if you've looked at my Facebook pictures, you know I usually look different than this. I usually look like this. And that's because I'm about 40 pounds overweight. But it's okay. It's not about the weight. The point is, I can't be healthy with this weight. I started this podcast a long time ago, and we tried to set, to set up a healthy lifestyle, and it was going great, but then I got so busy and I couldn't do it, so it is back. But this time, it's back with the Ning. Thanks to the Nerd Fighters, I discovered Ning, and Ning is the, something that lets anybody create a social network in like three minutes, and literally, it took me three minutes. You go to fittingitin.com, that's fittingitin.com, and you sign up there. There's already like 70 members, and I started it a day ago. People are sharing their, their, their stories, their inspiration, they're chatting. It's wonderful. Also, there's a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash fitting it in. It's the username fitting it in. There's going to be a link across my face in this. So go subscribe there because it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do daily vlogs. And I think, I think I roped in another podcaster to be the second. John's going to be the second, the, the uh, every other day person. So I don't have to do a vlog every day. It's going to be amazing. It's an adventure for 2009. Join me. Okay. <laughs> what did he do?